Let's talk about the train strike situation that's uh, been unfolding in Sydney today. Damien Tudhope is Cabinet Minister with the government. Damien, put simply, most importantly, before we get to anything else, what is happening tomorrow with the trains for people watching us tonight? Uh, there, you know, in brief terms, trains will be running, Paul. Um, they will be a limited service and uh, you should check the timetables before you go to the station to make sure that you ca are able to catch a train. But there will be train services running. There will be, they will be supplemented by a bus service as well. But you'll probably appreciate that to actually put in place a roster for a train system is a bit more complex than just something which is done over a couple of hours. Uh, but certainly tomorrow there will be a limited train service running. So there'll be something, not everything. So we're in the, the process of compromise here. Let me play you the Correct. comments of the, uh, the Labor opposition leader in New South Wales who said this today. The Premier of New South Wales looked and sounded this morning like a struggling opposition leader, not the Premier of New South Wales, launching conspiracy theories, launching insults. It was a lot of things, but it wasn't leadership. Now, did the government get it wrong by saying this was all about a strike when some of the information we're getting is that someone, and not at the government or at the union level, overreacted? Yeah, well, um, the reality is, Paul, uh, that that is completely wrong. And, in fact, uh, the, the Labor union... Uh, uh, Confederacy, uh, in fact, has been behind this uh, stop work or not work to timetable, which was in place. Let me just give you a little bit of the background to this. We had an agreement in place on Saturday afternoon with the union, which, in fact, uh, uh, was predicated on a new timetable coming into place on Monday morning. Now, that was in line with we had expectations of students going back to university, hopefully people going back to the office and uh, people arriving from overseas. All in place Saturday night. On Sunday, unbeknownst to us, uh, the union went to their political masters and the, uh, the situation changed where effectively the union came and said, no, nah, that deal is off. We want another deal. Now, to set in place a timetable in circumstances where uh, you change your mind uh, six hours before the trains are about to, to run is, in fact, leaving the, the, uh, the government and the train operators with no alternative but to say, for the safety of the system, we can't have people uh, running a train system on a different timetable than we have set. Now, it is complex, uh, and I admit, but the stunt this morning of turning supposedly turning up for work when you want to turn up for work and run your roster other than the roster which Sydney Trains had, in fact, planned on and agreed upon on Saturday afternoon meant that uh, there, there was that it was a strike in every other thing but the name that the union wanted to call it. And it was a strike by them, make no mistake. OK, uh, so just quickly, what about what the unions in New South Wales, Mark Morrie, he turns around and talks yep. about a year of strikes because, of course, nurses last week, teachers a few weeks ago, promising a year of this stuff until you give them the money they want. Well, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. He, on the headline this morning, he promises a year of strike and, in fact, he delivers it almost immediately. Now, this was against a background where we thought negotiations, which is the way we should do business, had been successful, and we turn up and, and find ourselves in a circumstance where that deal was reneged upon and we were only going to potentially work to the timetable that the union uh, said that we could work to. Now, you can't just operate a train system where you just flick a switch or supposedly switch a, switch a, flick a switch and go to another, uh, another roster. Now, you need people to turn up at a particular depot to run a train. You need guards to be at the same place. You need signal operators. You need cleaners. Now, they all have to be rostered. Now, it, it, it's a nonsense to say you can just turn that on and off uh, at a, a moment's notice and for, to the, for the union to turn up and say, we were ready to work, we were ready to work. Well, uh, they were ready to work their roster, not the government's roster or the, or the roster which Sydney Trains had agreed upon and was ready to operate this morning. All right, Minister, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Uh, the good news there, there will be trains back in the morning, uh, but it won't be the full services. As he says, it's a limited service, but at least it's starting to go. The news will, of course, move throughout the network and hopefully train drivers will be told of that decision uh, by their relevant authorities and unions. There's way more in that story. We will get to it the next little while.